Hi guys, so you know how we are total suckers for trends and fads, right? Lately we've been hearing a lot about the trend called minimalism and of course it piqued our interest. There's a big documentary um, going around about it, there's a million articles giving you tips as to how to be a minimalistic person, worker, parent. So we wanted to dissect this trend or fad and see how and if it would actually apply to our lives. I just recently read an article about a guy who has a minimalistic wardrobe. He has three to four pairs of jeans, four to five shirts, and he wears them on a rotating basis every day. That's it? Yo, so if we were to embrace that lifestyle, we would look like Mickey Mouse, right? <laughs> yeah. It really reminds me of my backpacking days because we had like two tank tops, two bikinis, two pairs of shorts, one sarong and a pair of flip flops. That's it. Well, that's really minimalistic. Totally. But I'm so happy those days are over. And then there is veganism, which is closely associated with the minimalistic movement. And first of all, we're gonna get it out of here. Disclaimer, big props to vegans out there. You guys are heroes, right? We actually really like the concept of this. Totally. But we would not cope on just nuts and seeds leaves and trees. Minimalists actually embrace the concept of living in small, simple spaces as their homes. But we have three children each. By 8.30 p.m., we need a place to hide away from them, right? 8.30? Can you imagine a tiny little house? <laughs> but I don't just need one place to hide, because once my kids find me, then I have to find a new hiding spot. I don't know if you saw it in the preview to the documentary we were talking about, but there's a guy who says, I only have 51 things that truly matter in my life. Well, 51 things? I have 51 pairs of shoes. Like 51 pairs of shoes? Maybe just 51 shoes. <laughs> I got a box full of like 51 pieces of artwork by my children and I'm not sure which ones to throw out. Have you seen this pantry? She's got way more than 51 types of snacks. Best house to be in? 51 different nail polish colors. More than 51 channels on the cable box. Only 51? Yeah, 51 is too little, sorry. Let's just bring it home here for a second, okay? Even though minimalism must be a bit of a stretch for most of us, they seem to have a bit of a point, right? Absolutely. I do find myself often feeling like there's so many things I want, and so many things I need to have, especially in this society, in this day and age, with marketing and advertising right in your face mm -hmm. on social media. But really, like, when is it all just too much? When is enough enough? Do you think you could do with a few less pairs of jeans? I have to. I think what's happened is that we've got so caught up in wanting stuff rather than thinking if we actually need that stuff. I think we can both agree that we have been living lives that are completely the opposite of minimalistic, right? Yeah, that's for sure. I've been like binge buying makeup and showering my kids with gifts every chance I get and stuffing our faces with food. Remember when people used to only switch their cars like every 10 years? Now we need a new car every four or five years. And how about wanting to renovate things in our houses when our houses are just a few years old? It's evident that we've gone a bit overboard lately, but we're not really gonna go 100% minimalistic. No, because we believe that even though you have to really appreciate what you have, having certain things that give you pleasure as opposed to just being needed is not such a bad thing for you. But the other day I actually did a spring clean of my whole closet. Even though I didn't go down to like three pairs of pants and three shirts only, I did donate three huge bags of clothes to charity. And how did that feel? Liberating. So that was your minimalistic experiment, right? Exactly. So here's your challenge. Choose one area of your life that you feel has gotten a little bit excessive. We all have one of those. Mm -hmm. And try and reduce that clutter. Minimize it. So who really needs makeup? Who needs clothes? <laughs> you know what you need to do? Share this video. Like us on Facebook. And subscribe to our YouTube channel.